raised in violence, the product of rape. Tim Tipene not only survived, he found how to accept and then overcome the hurt to achieve the ultimate revenge, a successful life. Tim's birth was the outcome of rape, a fact that Tim's mother reminded him of throughout his childhood. Tim's mother married into the Waitai Tipene whanau, and Tim was legally adopted into the family as a toddler. He was raised in two cultures, New Zealand Māori and New Zealand European. Tim's immediate family were abusive and violent. It was only with the extended whānau that Tim felt loved. Tim's biological father was a convicted predator and violent offender who spent much of his life behind bars. From the age of eight, Tim's mother told him that he would grow up to be a monster and hurt women and children just like his father. Many of Tim's family expected him to end up in prison. At school, Tim was behind in his learning. He had to attend special classes for reading and for maths. He also had to see a speech therapist as he couldn't talk properly. At high school, they didn't know what to do with me. My last year of maths was sitting in a small room by myself, answering math sheets that no one liked. And eventually, there wasn't even a sheet to answer. When the school kicked me out at 16, I couldn't recite the alphabet from A to Z. I didn't know my times tables, and I couldn't tell the time on analog clocks and clocks with hands. I was told that I was a loser, that I would never amount to anything that I was a lost cause, a no hope. I chose to prove them wrong. Tim was expelled from high school and kicked out of home at the age of 16. He was shunned and rejected by his family. One afternoon, his stepfather faced him with a knife. He said that Tim had never been a part of the family and never would be. He then threatened to kill Tim. Tim went through a number of homes, jobs and relationships before he managed to find help to address his traumatic past. Once he got that help, Tim overcame his abusive and violent childhood and broke the cycle through a combination of martial arts training, psychotherapy and personal development. In 1994, at the age of 22, Tim was frustrated at the lack of support for children and teens. He consolidated his learning and experience to create Warrior Kids, a self-control and social skills program for youth. A warrior is one who can face the challenges of life, one who can be with their emotions and their vulnerabilities, one who is not afraid to address the past and who can engage fully in life and in relationship. For me to overcome my abusive childhood, break the cycle of violence, I had to be a warrior. To heal may mean to cry a river. Only a warrior could do that. For 27 years, Tim has provided warrior kits to communities and schools, taking referrals from community and government agencies and changing the lives of thousands of children and their families. Tim went on to become a trained counsellor, with a graduate certificate in child and adolescent mental health. Tim started martial arts at the age of 12, and over 37 years has gained a number of black belt darn ranks and teaching titles. For his work with Warrior Kids, Tim was inducted into the New Zealand Martial Arts Hall of Fame in 2013, and in 2014, he was recognised as a Kiwi Bank New Zealander of the Year local hero and received a medal in recognition of his contribution to the lives of others. In 1996, Tim became a published author. Since then, he has written many books and a number of them have won awards. Not bad for someone who was kicked out of school. For two decades, Tim has been sharing his inspirational story of overcoming a violent and abusive childhood and breaking the cycle with audiences both young and old. The effects of a violent and abusive childhood have been lifelong for Tim. He has experienced post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, thoughts of suicide, and had relationship and trust issues. In 2008, the breakup of a relationship saw Tim become a single parent for over eight years. 
However, he ensured that home life was safe and full of love for his children, and that they never experienced a childhood like his. Tim's is a love story. And in 2017, after further therapy, he reconciled with his partner, and they have been back together ever since. Read the full story. Available from all good bookstores.